Holy crap, that sound though. Oh my god. <laughs> the woman is completely Holy alone at home when she claims shit. to hear un What is up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be a bit different. You know, we're going to do something new. We're going to do a reaction video. I know, I know it's a different one. It's definitely a different one. I know none of you is used to it. But, you know, we gotta do some new stuff. And also, I've been trying out doing with, like, League videos, like, gaming videos. But that's more like a Twitch thing. And I really do like streaming, so I'm leaving that to Twitch. And I also tried reaction videos on Twitch that got a great response. But I don't think a Twitch is a great platform to do a reaction video. Because you want to be communic with, communicating with people, not actually watch the video and just, like, react to it. It doesn't make any sense. So I'm leaving the reaction videos to YouTube and I'm going to be leaving the gaming and communicating with people on Twitch. That being said, if you want to check me out live, my Twitch link is down below in the description. Anyway, back to the video. Today, we're going to be reacting to a video from my favorite YouTube channel when it comes to ghost hunting videos. Nukestop5 is not a real ghost hunting channel. He only scrolls through a lot of content on YouTube and picks out the best five moments every week the best five moments caught on camera of the ghost or anything similar to paranormal, whatever it seems like. What I wanted to say is that I think his way of narrating, the way he makes the videos and the videos he chooses every week are the best ones online, the best ones on YouTube you can find. And the guy definitely deserves the shout out. So his link is going to be down below in the description as well. You know what? Enough said. Let's go. Five ghosts caught on camera, hidden. hidden. Not too long ago, I featured a video by Czech ghost hunter Bono from the YouTube channel ILMN Bono Paranormal. In the video, Bono traveled to an abandoned car parts factory in the city of Ostrava in the Czech Republic. The factory has been deserted for almost 60 years. First thing I'm going to say every time it happens in Europe, especially the eastern side of Europe, as well as the eastern part of, of the world, Anything on the right hemisphere of the world is going to be awesome. For some reason, it always is like the most haunted places, the most haunted events, the ones that seem the real the most, you know, are always on the eastern side. I just thought that was important to mention. I don't know why. After a large Keep explosion in the building tragically took the lives of several workers. The factory is said to be haunted by the angry, restless spirits of the deceased workers. Now, since his last video, Bono has returned to the Czech factory to show new viewers and subscribers that came over for my video where he captured... Wait, do you see what I'm talking about? Like, he's actually narrating everything that's going to be happening in the video. It's awesome. He was such a good vibe. And also his voice, the sound effects, and the... just perfect, you know, for this kinds of videos. That's why we chose him for the day, for the first video. captured all of the terrifying activity. Most of you are probably from Nukestop5 video, so welcome everyone. Actually, what Nuke got wrong is that this window is was not a, ref, a reflection. Behind this window is this hallway. So the figure oh, of the ghost... I was... I actually watched that video, like the first one, and I also thought it was like a reflection, but this clears it and up. Here is the You see how many how, how people love him, you know, everybody like he actually mm. asks people to go That's check it out, weird. like to clear some things up and they it actually do it. Open. Everybody loves him. Before. He's the biggest one, like he's the biggest it's growing here. in the community right now. The same, and I for think. a good reason. <laughs> oh my freaking god. As you saw oh my god. <laughs> I got scared so much that I accidentally stopped the co recording. <sighs> there was like caps and it fell. Oh my god. That is a mess. I was standing right here. It was just like a meter behind me. Almost immediately, strange things start to happen in the old abandoned factory. Bono is startled by the sound of cups suddenly crashing to the floor. He decides to just leave that area and do an EVP session in another part of the abandoned factory. 
uses his iPhone to record audio as he asks a few questions in his native Czech language. He requests that the spirits give him a sign of their presence. He gets a frightening answer. Oh freaking god. Yo, was that a shadow? It sounds like something is thrown in Bob's Yeah, it direction. is a shadow. Shocked, he turns toward the sound and... Did you see it? Watch again. Right after the unexplained sound, a translucent shadow-like figure is caught on camera quickly moving past Bono. However, he is completely unaware of what he just captured and doesn't see anything that could explain the strange sound. I'm telling you, it's always the eastern side of the world. If you ever see any videos like this, there are possibly clickbaits. They're probably not if they're recorded in, you know, right side of the world. Keep it up. Sound. And this is not the only time the explorer captures something creepy on camera without even noticing. While exploring the factory, he accidentally captures something downright chilling. Uh, here is nothing, just door and I hope these uh, are not see-through because if they would be they would see my light did you see it at the end of a long hallway a shadow figure can be seen peeking Ooh, out at him damn. he pans the camera back only seconds later and the dark figure has disappeared I'm actually kind of good at noticing stuff like this Ooh, I, I, I'm wondering why I haven't, like, kind of weird I haven't noticed it. Bono has I wasn't no paying that much idea, attention, probably. But something seems to it looked be like a sign to me. It looked like a black sign. And the strange paranormal activity in the building just seems to intensify. As you can see, I am just right here. The big hall is there, and... Oh. Holy no, fucking crap, no what way. is that? No f***ing way! A heavy cart inexplicably starts to roll across the floor oh. on its own. Bono is more than a holy fucking shit. I mean, imagine that happening. It's kind of, it's not, it's not the same. You gotta see like you're here from behind a PC, behind a monitor, and you're actually looking at from like a 2D perspective. This is not the same shit. Imagine that shit happening to you, as we've especially seeing like you know that area is empty. You know there is nothing there, and you actually see this shit. And a bit Hell freaked no. out by the incident and runs upstairs. Ah! After giving himself a few minutes to calm down, Bono cautiously continues his exploration. Yo, do you just run? I mean, imagine how mad you have to be to actually come back after that happens. I don't see myself doing Again, that in that situation. He one of the rooms from his previous video, a room that seemed to be especially active on his last visit. Things take a terrifying turn. Here is the room with the chair. This chair moved on my previous video. What else do we have here? Some, uh... No. Holy fucking shit! As Bono is showing it. Holy crap! I'd be out. I'd just be out. Fuck that chair that seemed to move on its own in his previous video a large cabinet on his left captures his I'm, attention i'm fucking Suddenly, shaking all of the doors swing open i'm fucking shaking sending the terrified explorer running from the abandoned factory bono decides he's had enough and just ends the video but there's still a large area of the building that bono hasn't explored yet so despite all that he's seen and heard he returns once again to film really Dude, get the fuck out of there. I mean, for the love of God, I'm, I'm literally done. I, I'm not even there and I'm literally done with it. Like, I'm done. I'm, I'm out. Not him. I'm out, dude. In the abandoned Fuck this factory. Shit. It did not go well. That, that dude has nuts of steel. <clears throat> I'm gonna give him that much. What happened? No. What happened? What? What happened? What did the actual fuck happen? As Bono is going up a staircase, he suddenly hears a sound behind him. 
When slowed down and brightened, you can see what appears to be the same shadow figure he captured earlier. And but this now time, it's but this time he saw it. He fucking saw it. Out. He fucking out. Right behind him. This time he actually sees the bizarre black mass with his own eyes. And with that, he finally decides that he's had enough and he makes a run for it. If I was that guy, I'd be out even before I actually fucking enter the workers who tragically place, lost their lives in the old factory or is it all just an elaborate hoax you decide you can check out bono's full investigation including all new that's actually true like i know a lot of people don't believe in this kind of stuff that's why i'm interested does do you guys believe that's gonna be the question of the day do you guys believe in paranormal do you actually believe there is something more to this world like something that we don't know and cannot explain because I myself am a believer. I know a lot of people say like they're they're fifty percent behind. Like they think it's true and think it's not true at the same time. Most of the people even go go to say like I don't think it's true at all. Very little people will say they are believers. But I honestly seen too much shit to not believe into that kind of stuff. Not only on videos but in real life as well. New videos over on his YouTube channel. You take it as you will. Bono Paranormal. A haunting in Holland. Now this next video was sent to me directly and despite my efforts and research, it's pretty much shrouded in mystery. I have no idea about the specific details on this video, other than to say it's very, very creepy. The video was posted to Did YouTube you see the by editing? an anonymous channel and features a woman in the Netherlands allegedly experiencing terrifying paranormal- You see what I'm talking about? Like his editing style, he finds- random clips online and just like edits the whole thing so he can once he tells you the story behind the video that's going to be happening you actually can feel the story because of the videos the background music awesome it's fucking awesome i, I, I have no words more activity in her home Yo, what is wrong? Like, you can actually feel in her voice that she's shaking, that she's scared as fuck. What? Holy crap. Hell fucking no. I'm... Who's bombs? Ron, fucking Ron, what is wrong with you? Some people, some people just don't know when to run. Holy crap, that sound though. Oh my god. <laughs> the woman is completely Holy alone at home when she claims shit. to hear unexplained sounds all around her. As she films, her ceiling lights start swinging back and forth, and the kitchen light. Flickers. I don't know if you can see when it. She looks inside or the not. doorway. Multiple drawers and a but cabinet have somehow opened hell. on their own. Now absolutely terrified, she turns to walk away when suddenly she hears the open kitchen. Okay, I'm actually sweating my ass off. I'm scared as fuck. I'm scared as fuck for this woman. And the light goes out again. Right before the camera cuts, a strange figure can be seen looking at her from inside the doorway. Now, given the anonymous nature of dude, this is the, like there has only been two videos so far, like, and out of five, that is. And usually there is always like one special, especially good one. And these are also great so far. This is one of the best Nukes Top 5 I've seen in a while. Of this video, I don't know who the woman is and I don't know what happened to her. I feel like the guy went an extra mile and did some extra research for this video. So for now, this video remains a complete mystery. Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. 
If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Unhold. The ghost that scared my mama. An anonymous YouTube urban explorer who goes by the name Urbex Hill has a fairly new YouTube channel dedicated to exploring abandoned locations in Cleveland, Ohio. In one of his videos, he travels to a Yo, decaying 100-year-old Catholic church that was left abandoned. Really? That seemed like a smart fucking idea. Long I mean. ago, the building that was once a site of architectural beauty now appears to be in a state of severe deterioration with collapsed ceilings and rotting floors. YouTuber Urbex Hill is carefully making his way through the church when he accidentally captures something very unexpected on the upper floor balcony. I mean, it's at least a daytime. This guy is smart. Everybody goes at night. Urbex Hill doesn't even notice when right in front of him a wooden plank suddenly just oh. moves on its own. When replaying the footage, it's obvious that there's no reason for this piece of wood to take this strange slide across the floor. Obviously. Completely unaware of what he just captured, Urbex Hill continues exploring and a This is crazy. How did even people notice that? I mean that's an urban explorer and how did somebody notice that she's like somebody was just watching that video and actually focusing on what's gonna happen around him? Is it He's not even a ghost hunter, let's be honest. Eventually finds the basement of the abandoned church. Using a flashlight, he walks down into the pitch black cellar. And that's when his exploration becomes the stuff of nightmares. Did you see? Yo, there was a fucking figure Did there. Did you see it? When the explorer pans his camera, a dark shadow can be seen standing in the basement with him. The figure doesn't reflect any light and appears to have no visible features. What makes the footage even it's a fucking shadow here. And stranger is that Urbex Hill had been exploring and looking around the basement for a while before the shadow figure appears. But the only footsteps you can hear are his own. But the story gets even a little bit weirder because YouTube commenter Goya Flava believes that this same creepy dark figure can be seen even earlier in the video. Oh shit, that actually might be this true. Thing so when he pans to, to the right... ...watching Urbex Hill from a doorway as he explores the main floor of the church. Or could it simply be a very odd trick of the light? What do you think? Why would... You can see... But when he panned back, there was nothing there. Yep. See this full video and many more creepy abandoned. Some people are fucking awesome. They actually find all that stuff. Imagine watching a single video and like he actually spending a lot of time. Pro they probably even watch it in like a slow mo sometimes. Big break. Explorations over on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill, down the dark hallway. Popular Italian ghost hunters from the YouTube channel PIT Paranormal Investigation Team travel to an abandoned. Oh, that's not far away from me. Should I join them on a ghost hunt? I mean, I always wanted to go on a ghost hunt, even though I'm scared as fuck, honestly. But I do want to do a ghost hunt. I do want to. Even if it kills me, I'm down. The World War II bunker in a snow covered valley in the Italian Alps. The bunker is absolutely huge as it goes deep into the mountains and covers multiple floors with many narrow hallways. The creepy location has an even creepier story. Many soldiers lost their lives inside this bunker. And to this day, local residents claim that they often hear unexplained gunshots and wailing shrieks coming from inside the long abandoned shelter. Many believe that the ghosts of the fallen soldiers still haunt the narrow pass and hallways inside the World War II bunker. Paranormal investigation team Paolo, Deborah, Jack, Simone, and Marco carefully explore the narrow maze of winding tunnels inside the bunker to investigate the claims of paranormal activity. Eventually, they make their way several floors underground and start walking down a seemingly endless creepy tunnel. Imagine how scary that the five is. Investigators start to hear a you actually know a lot of bad things went on in there. Imagine how fucking scary it is. At least they have a lot of people there. There is five of them. That's kind of comforting. Strange unexplained noises from deep within the... 
but otherwise I wouldn't go in there alone. No bueno. Bunker. Understandably, they begin to get a bit frightened and their nerves are on edge. Then, this happens. What giving you want a jewel? You know when there's a sound, something bad is gonna happen. Fuck that! I was just like you—you you expected, you expected, and try to prepare yourself so you don't get jump scared. By it. <laughs> The group is terrified when cameraman Jack suddenly feels something touch his shoulders from his end of the creepy tunnel. And then host Deborah hears something running towards them from the opposite end of the tunnel. They feel trapped and surrounded by something. They decide to just get out of there. Yeah, you know, like the biggest problem is what, what do you do in that situation? Like, which way do you go? I mean, there's probably two exits. It's a big, big ass bunker, so. And find a larger space to continue their investigation. The PIT team conducts a spirit box session and they get some very, very... Why do people stay out or something like that happens? I mean, I know they're a paranormal investigation team, but at the same time, wouldn't you be too scared? I would love to see myself in that situation. Would I want to stay or not? What about you? Very strange answers. By the way, I don't really believe in spirit boxes it always sounds like it's programmed or something you know like random words sounds like too much of a coincidence sometimes Even though they are in Italy and are getting mostly Italian responses, suddenly they hear a voice on the spirit box speaking English. Still don't believe it. Things get even Still stranger as they continue to hear unexplained sounds coming from somewhere inside the bunker. As the cameraman Jack explains that it's hard to tell where the sounds are coming from, photographer Simone snaps a picture and captures something terrifying. Yeah, we want to see a photo. Show us the photo. Show us the photo. Oh, there really is something. But how the fuck did she notice it on a camera? It's like a much smaller frame, you know, like a much smaller screen display. While taking photos of the tunnel in front of them, Simone captures what appears to be a figure at the end of the hallway. But How the fuck did he notice host it? Paolo is unfazed. He decides to venture off alone to explore one of the dark tunnels. He you have four more people with you there. Why the fuck would you go alone? He sees something absolutely chilling. Hey. What? Wait, he's actually running towards the I didn't even see what happened, but What? What happened? What happened? Come on. Okay. 
Yeah, the, you can actually see the, the guy shaking, literally shaking his bones. Like he's shaking, he's running. <laughs> Can we see the fucking footage? Dark figure walks from left to right at the end of the tunnel, oh. right in front of Powell. Damn! He runs after the figure, camera in hand, but when he reaches the That's spot actually where the fucking figure visible. disappeared, there's nothing there. Not only that, but it's there's blocked. nowhere the figure could have gone. Just a blocked off tunnel wall of rocks and stone. Whatever the figure was, it seems to have disappeared. And the reaction is really, like, it's not always, it has to be, like, really scary, you know? It doesn't have to be jump scary mo like it doesn't have to be scary moment at all it just has to be believable like if the guy was really shaken up after seeing that that means he how, how the fuck can he fake it like he's not an actor appeared into thin air so this one is believable capture evidence that the ghosts of soldiers and are damn, still that looks scary. abandoned bunker that looks very fine that looks fucking you can terrifying check out the full four-part series and many more scary adventures over on the youtube channel pit paranormal investigation team Gold Hill Hotel. The Gold Hill Hotel in the small town of Gold Hill, Nevada was built all the way back in the Wild West days of the early 1860s. The hotel and the surrounding area have a very dark past. You see, right behind the hotel lies the Yellow Jacket Gold Mine. On April 7th, 1869, in the Yellow Jacket Gold Mine, a raging fire broke out, causing much of the mine to collapse with the workers inside. An estimated 35 miners lost their lives in what is now considered to be Nevada's worst mining accident of all time. Holy Many shit, of the 35 miners people? Were just never recovered. They remain buried somewhere in the collapsed oh. mine shaft. There's 30 fucking That's a lot of people. I've never heard of an accident that big, especially that in creation, something that like that never happens in this area. Whenever I hear something like that, like there is always stories around the world without with like big accidents happening. That it's not enough, not in Croatia. It doesn't sound like you know real to me. Thirty five fucking people. Damn. Spirits are said to Damn. still haunt the area. To this That's day. a lot. One of the more active spirits at the Gold Hill Hotel is said to be that of a miner named William, who resided in room number five before perishing in the gold mine fire. Today, visitors claim to smell an odd strong tobacco odor when they enter room number five. Others say that they've seen the frightening apparition of a miner roaming the hotel halls. Guests also report that they hear unexplained knocking, things move on their own, and hotel doors slam shut, locking guests outside. Another spirit that is said to haunt the oh, hotel damn, is that, that looks creepy as fuck. Lady of the Night, named Rosie. Where the fuck did he find that footage? Entertaining men during lonely nights. Just like William, she's sometimes seen in her room, but also aimlessly wandering around the hotel. In a three-part YouTube series, Twin Paranormal team Ryan, River, Nick, and Y. By the way, these guys are awesome. Twin Paranormal, you gotta check them out as well. Like, there is a lot of good videos on their channel. They do such good explorations. I investigate the many claims surrounding the mysterious Gold Hill Hotel and its two lingering unwanted guests. The guys hang bells at strategic locations throughout the hotel as the jingling will hey. detect any movement. And even though there's no draft in the hotel, the bells continue to jingle. That was the bells. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't? No, it wasn't. Yeah, you can, you can. Wait, it wasn't this? You can actually fucking hear it. No, no that's the bells. Video and then we, we tried to leave. Me and River. Oh, the, I, oh, I you turn it. What? The bell. The bell. Did you touch the bells? Who's ringing bells? Dude? Did you you heard it that time? The keys are here. Impossible if they're there. What is that? Who keeps ringing the bells? They hear unexplained voices and the sound of knocking on the walls and ceilings. Oh, is that you? Jill? It's getting serious. No, I swear, no, it's not me. The team separates and twins Ryan and River are alone in room four, Rosie's room. They hear a noise and suspect that one of their cameras has strangely just turned off for no reason. 
Okay, that's a weird ass framing. Okay. Camera shuts off. And your thing just turned off. I don't know if it turned off. It might have turned off, but... Wait, how, how did he know? Did you hit that? Ooh. Oh my god, no, I did not touch that. Are you sure? Were you filming? Yes, I'm filming. Are you sure? Are you he, sure? he did. I swear on everything. Yeah. Were you filming? Can we look at that again? He's literally this far away. He didn't even like. He wasn't even nearby. I mean, technically, it was nearby, but he wasn't. Oh, hang on, look at it right now. As Ryan checks the camera in the bathroom, the cabinet under. The How did he know the camera turned off, though? The sink mysteriously opens on its own. Unfortunately, when Ryan and River look back at their footage, they're disappointed to find that they didn't capture the bottom half of the cabinet as it opened. Please, 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 please. No! Oh, oh man! I didn't catch it. That's not enough proof. It's not. It's no good. Man! I did not touch it! Ryan tries to debunk the- I like how- I really love how these guys are ambitious about it. You know, they're not gonna fake anything. They're not gonna admit something. Like, they're not gonna even- uh, proved this as a ghost event like a paranormal event because they didn't catch it fully on camera i love that I love that shit awesome the possibility that he might Respect. have accidentally tapped the cabinet door with his foot i just don't know how i could we'll try to open it i mean how easy was that to open uh not that easy we can go ahead and give it a shot I mean, I, I don't think it could have been like a, that, like a small opening already, but I don't think it was. If you can actually see in the first audio, frame. I didn't even touch it, man. I didn't even bang anything. I didn't touch anything. Now, what Ryan and River don't know at the time is that right after this incident, over in vacant room number five, which was Goldminer Williams' room, their static camera captures something truly bizarre. Well. If you open that, someone was in here, then thank you. We are definitely not prepared for that. That's for sure. Oh, it's sound out. Like I was it's waiting so for something tired. to move. It just said fire, right? <gasps> oh, shit. I don't know. That just said fire. The chair starts swinging. Brad! What the f is that sound? Um, thumping? While Nick and Wyatt are downstairs and Ryan and River are in room four, next door in vacant room five, a chair inexplicably begins to rock back and forth on its own, almost as if something is sitting there. The twin paranormal team member. My boy just chilling, you know, I came to, back to take a seat and just swing back and forth. Back and forth. Boy, now he, he knows how to live death, live life, but I can't say it, say it. live life, you know. Live death. Hear a strange thumping sound, but they have no idea what their static camera is capturing in room five. Later in the investigation, while Ryan sits in the same room all by himself, again. I, I have a feeling this is gonna get really serious real fast. The chair moves. I just heard a groan I don't know if it was them across across wait that was a spirit box that was really me? clear that was really clear if you are I think they have a really good spirit box it doesn't give out any any sounds like the, with the regular spirit boxes there is always like sounds like static and some sounds and it can be random at all this way you actually get answers that, like if it's real if the spirit box is real there is no static nothing it's just complete silence and when you ask something if you like get a answer like immediately you know this shit could be real that's why i don't like regular spirit boxes or please move something river nick and wyatt are downstairs doing a spirit box session while ryan is upstairs all alone in room five he doesn't even notice it but again the chair in the corner of the room starts rocking back and forth Later, things take an even more terrifying turn when the twin paranormal team members are now all together in room 5. Next door, in empty room 4, their static camera captures something truly chilling. Did it just go off? It's ticking. Here I go. Beware. 
Beware. Oh, I la like the EMF. What is it? Oh, a shadow. Damn. That's a that's an actual fucking shadow figure. That's an actual fucking shadow figure. If you can, Mick, What's it gonna I'll do? What you gonna do, boy? You're getting those spikes. The EVP got it. What did he just say? It's around this area. That's he really slow. That's a slow ass anything? ghost. I just heard a. That's a slow ass ghost. Nick is holding an EMF meter that gets triggered by something. Bloody ghost. And only seconds later, a dark shadow like mass seems to walk past their static camera over in room four. This is the same room where Rosie, the Gold Hills Lady of the Night, is said to have been seen by many recent hotel guests. So did the twin paranormal team capture evidence of a haunting on camera? Could it be that the ghosts of Rosie and William are still wandering the Gold Hills Hotel after 150 years? Let me know what you when think. Paranormal. You can check out the full three-part investigation of the Gold Hill Hotel with even more creepy activity that I didn't show here over on the twin paranormal those can get really awesome like I, I definitely suggest you guys if you're into paranormal kind of stuff watching some paranormal investigations in real life are even if nothing happens it can be like a really good enjoyable video paranormal youtube channel thanks for watching for channel updates please follow me on instagram right there and on twitter right there yeah definitely shout out week. to nukes top five awesome work awesome work bro Definitely deserve those. Those are some real good ghost videos, or as I like to call them, ghosts. You know why ghosts? Because it's a reference from one of my favorite movies, Haunted House. If you haven't watched it, you should. It's a good movie. It's a good ass movie. Anyways, which video was your favorite? Mine was number four with the lady and the house and the ghost popping out. Like, that one was awesome. That one was my favorite. Which one was yours? Do let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed my first reaction video because this is not where it's stopping. I'm definitely going to be making more. And you guys can let me know what you would like to see next. Any type of a video. It doesn't have to be ghosts. If you have any ideas, pop them down below. I'm going to appreciate it a lot. That being said, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, share, all of that good stuff. And the only thing left to said is... I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.